what up what up guys so another day truck back here you guys are wondering what today's project is it is we are going to start the drop kit so today we're going to start taking the whole bed off to do the drop kit the drop kit is a three five so three in the front five in the back and um, it is a flip kit so axle got it on top of the leaf springs and um it's just going to be easier with uh, the bed off. It's also a bolt-on C-notch kit. So we got to cut the frame, put the reinforced C-notch plates on it. Let the axle, gives the axle some more travel. So it's just going to be easier to take the whole bed off. And I have to change the fuel pump on this truck. Um, it's giving me random misfires and, and misfire codes and just lean codes and stuff. I believe it's the fuel pump. doesn't want to start up sometimes. I already changed the fuel pressure regulator. So I didn't fix it. Fuel gauge is all over the place. So, of course, I'm going to need some help. Got some wheelchair problems. So I'm going to do what I can. Pops is going to help me. Um, but we, I'm going to start taking the tail lights off. Disconnect the the two for the gas sorry I got a brain fart can't think of the name but anyways I'm gonna start on that and start getting it ready so when my dad gets home he can start helping me disconnect the bed and we can get it on off the truck let's get to it <laughs> Yesterday, Friday, I worked on this with my dad. We did the other side, did the flip kit on the other on the driver's side. We had the first part of it was on Monday, and then yesterday we I didn't film any of it, but we worked on it on yesterday, Friday. Didn't work on it for a couple of days because we just had bad weather, rain nonstop. As you can see, we just have tents. It's cold. It was raining nonstop, so we waited all week pretty much, and. Uh, but truck is dropped. The flip kit's done in the back. Driver side's actually dropped today. We we've, we've been out here all day, Dad and I, finishing up little things. Chains of fuel pump. Uh, things running good now. Starts up right away. Check engine light even went off, so hopefully solves the issue with the check engine light uh, for good. So and now I'm going to show you guys the problem that we're having with the C notch. It's weird this truck is a little bit different in the frame I've seen other videos and other pictures and I haven't seen anybody that has this type of problem with their frame but I'll show you guys right now what we're gonna have to do to get that scene on show we have to cut and weld some metal plates in but I'll show you right now all right so this is the issue we're having you guys can see the outline here this, that's where the cutout where the C notch is supposed to go. Now everybody else's videos I've seen or pictures I've seen, their frame is just flat. They don't have this thing right here, this rid, this whatever it is. So problem is up there and up there and up front. This plate's supposed to sit flush onto the frame right here with this it's not gonna let it sit flush so what we're gonna have to do is we're actually gonna 
weld the back side with the plate. Once that's welded, both sides over there got the same issue. We're going to cut all of this out. All that part that comes out. So we're going to have to cut further. After this is welded in the back side. And then we're going to have to weld in a new piece all the way up front to get rid of this, this bump right here. And then we'll have to cut out the C-notch and then bolt it in. And what we're going to end up doing is... We're gonna bolt it, and as you can see, I already took the paint off this, and we're actually gonna weld it, because uh, I have a friend that has the same flip kit, drop kit on his truck, same kind of truck, same gen, and he said he had uh, cracking issues, I think in the frame or in the in the plates. So we're gonna end up, we're gonna end up bolting it and welding it to the frame. That way we have no issues, because that's what he had to end up doing. So a lot of work. Uh, that's why I didn't film any of this, or any of the work yesterday or today. Uh, it's just we're just trying to get this done. I'm trying to get this done by this weekend, Saturday, today. So between today and tomorrow, got a lot knocked off. So we can if we can get this done today, uh, tomorrow we just got a. We we dropped one side of the, in the front and the passenger side. We just got to turn the truck around and do the driver side. Uh, put the bed back on, put the tail lights back on, and then we'll be done. And put the wheels on, which won't take long. So, right now, show you guys the plate that I'm going to cut out so that we're going to weld in. So, get that done. I got my hitch in today, also. That's all in. Shocks, five inch drop shocks are in. Flip kit's done. See, uh, front's dropped. It's, you know, a little sneak peek. Driver side isn't, but we'll do that tomorrow. So right now we're gonna cut these templates and get them ready for when my friend Steve gets here to weld them in for me. So, try and get this done tonight. Hey guys, so next day we need to do anything last night got late friend got caught up doing some things um, but today I've been at it and got almost one side done well I got one part that uh, thing cut out and when the plate welded in show you guys right now I'm about to cut the the C for the C notch plate and then uh, drill the holes bolt that up uh, friends probably gonna come over right now Oh, give me another hand so I can finish this up quicker but here's this guys so you guys can see got that marked out for the C notch but I got rid of that rib or whatever that was there uh, see that right there cut that out weld it in I don't freaking video any of this because I was just trying to hurry and get this done today but uh, yeah, got that right now. Like I said, cut that out, put the C-notch plate in, bolt it in, and then uh, hopefully get started on the other side soon. bit longer just because we were trying to figure out how we were gonna want to do everything other sides the same though 
So we're going to start cutting that side right now. Uh, as you guys can see, it's all bolted in, welded in. It's that side. So it's welded on the outside, both sides, and then, then the inner side right here. It's super welded in there, so um, this thing is going to be sturdy. You guys can see, got the other one, got it marked out, cut that one right now, weld it in, and same process again. Alright guys, end of the video, I uh, apologize I didn't finish uh, filming, like putting the bed back on and stuff, but my SD card got full, I ran out of, you know, I was in a hurry to get this truck done, and I apologize, the 24s didn't go on, there was a mistake, they sent me two that weren't the right bolt pattern, identical wheels, different bolt patterns, uh, this video is about two months old already. I went back and forth with the uh, seller trying to get my money back or get him exchanged and he just kept getting running around so disputed with my bank 24s didn't go on 22s those escalate ones are still on it they still look really good on on it with the drop I did have to get smaller tires the other ones rubbed really bad but they work I'm thinking about staying with 22s anyways but We'll see. Either way, whichever 22s I get, I can use these tires are brand new, so I will be doing that. Sucks, but what can we do? I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So here we go.